What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Rev Room. Today we got the Sea Striker Deluxe Beach Cart. And to unbox this bad boy, we got the Cold Steel Mini Tack. So let's open this up. By the way, this thing is heavy as shit. So that's what it looks like in the box, just looks like a little bit. Let's turn it this way. Fucking dump it out. Just dump it out? Yeah. Wow. Here are the tires. Got the mounting hardware. Maybe they got these from like a snowblower or something. I don't know. Nope. These are the rod holders. PVC. This is a uh, frame of the cart. Actually, this might be the handle. The handle, I think. Yeah, you're right. This is the handle. What the fuck's this yellow shit over there? I don't know. Maybe someone took a piss on it. Uh, like it's the sword. axle. Oh, okay, yeah. Hmm. We got the manual here. Tells you how to put it together, because obviously, you know, you need to be a scientist to do that. We don't use the instructions in the right way. Right. So. Real men don't need instructions. That's right. Figure this out. So we got two two tools, got a little wrench, and a screwdriver. We're gonna fuck this all up. You think so? I, I know so. I, I, I don't I don't know. All right, so we, we gotta, gotta have long this on standby. Screws and the short screws. So the short screws go on the top. How many times I gotta wrap this fucking thing? Look at this shit. It's for protection. Yeah. What do you say? I see the ocean. I see the ocean. I see crabs. That's the bottom. One more time. That's the bottom. Oh shit! Get Still them. taking this off. Thirteen minutes later. Well, I'm gonna start building it. Okay. I'll just so, keep taking this fucking. Like I said, the long screws go on the bottom. Place the crap off. So, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. So again, you get the long screws. This is the bottom piece. And um, they slide through the holes in the bottom, and then you just screw it in with the handy dandy screwdriver we got here. Yeah, actually, well, I, the I, already, opener. I already fucked this thing up. What happened now? This has got to go on the outside. Got to go on the outside. You sure? Yeah, you're supposed to be fucking watching me. Oh no, I'm still taking the plastic off. You're, you're supervising this operation. All the rod holes seem nice and sturdy. It's actually pretty thick PVC. You know, again, we thought about building this ourselves or building one like this ourselves. Right. And the problem is getting, you can cut PVC, this like inch and a half PVC and vertical, but you don't have the bowed out section, which would actually hold the rods in straighter and better. So I decided to just buy it. You know, because we're making so much money from the rev room that, you know, we could afford to buy shit like this now. Fuck yeah. You know, fucking millionaires, YouTube millionaires now. You know what I mean? Drop the fucking wrench. Whatever's left over afterwards, we'll, uh... Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good idea. Maybe we could build another cart. What the fuck is this, a pussy ring? Yeah. No, it's not a pussy ring. Where are you gonna put... Where, where does a ring go on the pussy? The cock ring. This is a terrible joke. I definitely think this is a two-man design, to be honest. Like, you gotta put this together, you definitely need, um... Yeah, I mean, you could do it with people. one, but it's definitely easier with two. Again, we're using the shorter screws for the top section. The picture, it's got fucking beach chairs, an umbrella, a cooler, and you can put your well, fishing rods. apparently you could put up to a 54-quart cooler. Uh, yes. 54 quart cooler. All right, Mick, let's let, let's turn this thing around. Oh, sorry. Now we have something that's kind of looking like a cork. Now I could just very easily go and get a screwdriver, a real screwdriver, but well, like an actual whole you know, handle for you. Then hand. I feel like we would lose the integrity of the video right. by building it with what they give the you. The authenticity of actually using what they gave us. Yeah. So we're gonna get fucked like everyone that's else. That's like a C striker screwdriver. Because I mean, listen, let's be realistic. If you're a fisherman. You know, and you don't own like basic hand tools, then are you really even a fisherman? 
You know what I just noticed? On the PVC, it says Sea Striker. See that? That's pretty cool. I just noticed that now. Nice little touch. Wait, let me see it again. You know, for for an eighty, uh, see, for an eighty-eight dollar car, it's got it's got the logos. I think that's pretty fucking cool. The top piece is backwards from the bottom piece. Everyone, so take your top off. It's a fantastic screwdriver. Wait till we get I'd rather you fucking wheels. unscrew this with a dime. Yeah. Holy you shit. Have a dime? There's a whole picture. What? Now screw it back in. Now I have to do everything. I just, just just redo everything you just did. You know, Mike, I really gotta say, they should definitely like give us at least like two screwdrivers. I don't think they anticipated two people building this at the same time. I think this is a one-man job. We're just fucking brain dead, and we're we're making it. I don't know too. about brain dead. You know. No, we're pretty fucking. Not fun. dead. No, I wouldn't say that. Hey, Mike. Yes. We're gonna build this fucking thing. I know we could do. No, oh, my name Mickey. I'm building a beach car. Got a little like. Rips on here? Yeah, it's like a motorcycle. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check the box, see if there's anything else in there. I think you should just put this back one on. Well, you know what? You should probably check the manual. No, I think that's the best logic. I'm looking at the picture. There's a big giant picture of the actual car behind you. I think uh, we're gonna have to actually retighten every one of these screws with a real screwdriver. Yeah. This definitely actually... doesn't have enough leverage. Let's get the um, the axle on this thing. So, okay. You know what? Let's flip it over. Okay. Oh, at least they give you a. Uh... One of those Ikea wrenches. Yeah, that's what I said. All tools are included. That's a tool? All Would you ever use that? No. We have to show them that you can build it with the shit tools that they give you. Right. Let me just get that when you're done. Well, I'm done. There's only one wrench. Yeah. Okay. Yo, my dog. We got some 13 inch wheels. You got this fucking ring, the wheel. The washer. You guys haven't seen the radio flyer video. I have a lot of experience with building carts. I'm kind of a professional. We're almost there, pal. Finally, after three hours. I thought stickers are supposed to stay on. What is that? Let me see. <laughs> All right. Where's the sticker? I took it off. Oh. You said you took the sticker off, right? Yeah, it's off. Oh, where is it? I threw it out. Oh, all right. So anyway, that's it. That's how you build the Sea Striker beach car. Beach car. So we need to inflate these tires, but they are strong. They are rigid. Um, I don't know how they're gonna do in the sand. Obviously, this is just a build video. Uh, show you guys how to build it. Show you guys the quality of it. And believe it or not, we've been looking at different tires for beach carts because like. We said before we wanted to build our own, and these tires go for a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, these in particular are not that much money. They're plastic wheels. The tires are good, but the wheels are plastic. Um, I can't remember the brand off the top of my head. I'll link it down here. Um, they were like 200 bucks per tire. I think they were called wheelies. Yeah, wheelies wheels. And they were like the, uh, they call them like balloon tires or something like that. They're supposed to go coast over sand very easily. Again, I don't know how these are going to do, but for $88 that we spent on this car, right. um, I think it's going to do just fine. Um, as you can see, you got four rod holders in the front. You got three in the back. You, know, you put your rod standing up. You can put a 54-quart cooler in here. We're just going to probably just, just put our fishing rods in our coolers. Yeah, and the, 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 you know, all that bullshit. But really got it for the whole fishing purpose yeah. of... Um, Actually, like, bring it out to the beach and, you know, more or less surf fishing. Yeah, seven durable rod holders. But, yeah, so, I mean, the... Hey, let's lift it up. Just so they can see. Yeah. There so, you go. I think it looked like it's uh, moving. Yeah, overall, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with it. The handles are nice on it. They're some kind of rubberized finish. The rod holder is all aluminum design. It's powder-coated black. 
Looks like it's gonna hold up. And the best part about this whole build, it only took us three hours. Not bad. I'm, I think it's worth the 88 bucks, if I gotta say so myself. 100%. I think definitely, you know, we, we, we're a saltwater fisherman. For the most part, you know, these aluminum bolts are definitely going to rust. I can tell you guys that right yeah. off the bat. Um, but other than that, you know, the rest of the cart, this finish will hold up, you know, until it starts to get chipped and some salt water and shit gets in there. But, but again, $88 is definitely going to last you for a few years. You can't say, hey, listen, you know, if it has a little bit of, uh, you know, rust on it, you know, it's just, it's just going to happen. It's just bound to happen because, again, once you're out by the sand, salt water, you know. Yeah. Put your rods in here. It has salt water on it. If you drop it or something in the water, you know. I'd say definitely, definitely impressed. But I, but I definitely will say though, we're definitely gonna have to get some, yeah, some tools, real tools, real fucking tools. Hi highly recommended. Um, like a screwdriver, an actual handle, not a fucking bottle opener at the end. Yeah, don't don't rely on the tools here. Yeah. You guys don't own a screwdriver. You know, I mean, the wrench you can get away with, but definitely get yourself a screwdriver to build this with. At the very least, fill the screwdriver. Just go in your toolbox and just tweak every single bolt and nut down, and that way yeah. you know it's sturdy. Cool. Yeah, everything is loose somewhat, yeah. just again, because you can't get the torque with that piece of shit thing. But, you know, again, button that all up, and I think it's going to last. So, I mean, maybe down the line we'll do an update video. You know, the summertime is coming around. We're definitely going to hit the gonna water. Going to be taking it out, 100%. Without a doubt. Give you guys maybe like a one-month, two-month update down the line on how good it is and how much it's been holding up. Take it out onto the beach, see how it is on the sand, inflate these tires, and um, yeah, get it out there and uh, start putting it to use. Get our money's worth out of it. What do you think? I cannot wait. That's all I gotta say. I really can't wait. Like I said, we tried my cart, the Step 2 cart, my, Mike likes to call it my ghetto fishing cart. Oh. Wasn't too good in the sand at all with the plastic tires, but yeah, we actually got a real beach cart made for the beach we definitely uh i never used one of these before so i definitely am interested into actually looking to use this and it has already you know pre-cut pvc rod holders so so what's the measurements on it we got 34 inches long by 14 and a half inches by seven inches that's just the body of the cart itself and then obviously the handle adds about another i would say 18 inches right onto it definitely you can tow it around all your tackle boxes, your coolers, you won't have an issue with that, and hopefully it works good on the sand. We'll let you give you guys an update down the line on these tires and how it actually works in the sand and the actual uses of it. All right, well, that's basically it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the comment section down below, hit that like button. We got videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you guys for watching. Take, Take care. care.